a solid gold tennis racket encrusted all over with diamonds. So this racket right here is worth Hey everyone and welcome back to another video. So happy to have you guys back. And if you're a first time viewer, make sure you guys hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of the future videos. Help me reach 5,000 subscribers. We're super close and helping me reach that goal would be super appreciated. So thank you guys so much for hitting that subscribe button and hitting that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future tennis content that I'll be producing. And if you guys like the topic of today's video, don't forget to smash the like button right there. Helps my channel out a lot and it takes a second of your time. So please smash that like button. Now to get into today's topic, the top eight most expensive tennis rackets in the world. So this was inspired actually by another YouTube video which came up on my recommended feed and that video was comparing the cheapest commercially available racket to the most expensive racket that's available on store shelves. I thought that was a great idea but that got me thinking what is the most expensive tennis racket in the world? So I'm not talking about just in your local tennis shop, but if you were to really dig and see these collectible rackets, what is actually the most expensive racket that you can possibly get? And that led me on a deep dive on the internet to find this top eight list and to share with all you tennis fans out there. And make sure you guys hit the like button for more videos like this. So starting off with the bottom three rackets, these rackets are from luxury brands or collectible collaboration type racket. So these are gonna be pretty pricey as you can imagine. For all the rackets on this list that are actually available for you to purchase, I'm gonna put the links to them in the pinned comment below. All right guys, so starting off with number eight is a collaboration between the brand Bathing Ape and Wilson. So for all the hype beasts watching this video, you guys are probably familiar with the Bathing Ape brand. This is a super hyped up brand. And whenever they release a new collection, it tends to get snatched up very quickly. They also do a lot of collaborations with different brands. And in this case, they did a collaboration with Wilson. What makes this really unique is that they've only produced 300 of these special edition rackets. They come with a really cool camel paint job, as well as the Bathing Ape logo that's featured throughout the design of the racket. Now, if you wanna get your hands on this racket, it's gonna cost you anywhere between $1,000 and $2,500, depending on where you're looking and how many are available for sale at any given moment. Right now, you can find a couple on StockX. I think they have two, and I'll put them in that pinned comment, like I said. And you can also find some on eBay. So depending on what kind of deal you can strike, you might be able to pick them up for a little under $2,500, but you're definitely gonna be paying over $1,000 for these Bathing Ape and Wilson special edition rackets. Pretty curious to find out what racket Wilson actually used underneath the paint job of this Bathing Ape racket. I wasn't able to dig up any concrete results for that search, but I suspect that it's the Wilson Ultra or a Wilson Burn underneath that paint job. But if you guys know better, please tell me in the comments below because I'm super curious to find out what racket's actually underneath that paint job. Next up at number seven on the list is the Prada tennis racket. Personally, I think this racket looks absolutely amazing. Is it good to play with? Probably not. It's probably a pretty cheap racket in terms of the materials and the design, but I haven't personally played with it, so I can't tell you for sure. But at the price tag that this one is at $2,250, I'm definitely not gonna be playing with it. I wouldn't want that to get scratched. I wanna keep it mint condition at that price and just keep it as a collectible item. Now these come with a variety of bags. You can either get this one in a black, Prada case or in a red Prada case. Personally, I would go with the black, just go black, black, because the racket is fully blacked out and looks awesome, looks like Black Panther edition. So I really like the design of the racket, the price, probably paying way too much for what this racket actually is. And for the performance of the racket, you can get a ton of better rackets, I'm sure, for a fraction of the price. But it is cool to flex on people with a Prada racket. So if you wanna show up and have one of the flashiest rackets out there, this is definitely the one for you. And the good thing about the Prada racket, if you have the budget for it, is that there are a lot of them available. So these are still being sold through the Prada website. So if you're somebody with a big budget and you actually wanna purchase one of these, whether you wanna play with it, or if you wanna just have it in a sick racket collection, I'll put that in the pin comment as well. Now coming in at number six, very similar to the Prada racket, is another racket created by a luxury brand. And in this case, it's the Chanel racket. Unlike the Prada racket, which you can still pick up on the website, the Chanel racket is no longer in production. So you're gonna have to just find any that are available for resale, which of course drives the prices up. So the Chanel rackets are probably gonna run you anywhere from $2,500 to $4,000 or up 
depending on how many are available for sale, just like the BAPE racket I mentioned earlier. Because of the limited number, the supply and demand is gonna drive the price of this racket all over the place. But you're definitely not gonna be finding this Chanel racket for anything less than 2,500. Just like the Prada racket, the playing quality of this racket is definitely questionable. I have not seen any videos of this racket actually in use, but this became very popular through actually an Instagram post by Kylie Jenner. So I'm sure that you guys have probably seen this since the post was super viral. Now, did Kylie Jenner actually hit any tennis balls with this racket? Probably not, but it definitely looks good in a photo shoot. So this is another one that you're going to need a big budget for and probably won't perform that well on the court. Again, you can probably find a racket way better than this one for a fraction of the cost, but it's a super flex item if you want to show up at the tennis club and have the most expensive racket around. Now, moving into this next part of the list, going from number five to number one, these are all pretty unique, one-of-a-kind rackets that are really featured for their historical value and as collectible items. So these are gonna be ultra rare rackets that have huge significance either for tennis history or just for history in general. So with that being said, let's get into the top five most expensive rackets. Coming in at number five is Bjorn Borg's own racket. It's a Donne Pro or Donne Pro. If you guys know the correct pronunciation, please help me out. Now this racket was used by Bjorn Borg in the 1980 Wimbledon and was actually gifted after the tournament to one of the family members on his management team. Now this racket was actually sold later on in 2006 and in 2006 this racket went for 8,800 US dollars. Now personally I think that that's a bargain and as you guys know inflation is absolutely raging right now and the price of collectible goods has absolutely skyrocketed. So I wouldn't be surprised at all if the cost of this racket if it were to auction off today would either be double or triple what it was back then. I'm gonna put this at a base floor of $20,000 if it were to become available again. As you guys know, any racket used by Bjorn Borg has huge historical significance when it comes to the sport of tennis. Bjorn Borg is one of the all-time legends of the sport. He's won multiple French Opens. He's won multiple Wimbledons, making him one of the most dominant players on grass and on clay. His athleticism really revolutionized how tennis is played and what is expected of a pro tennis player in terms of their physical abilities. So of course, this legendary player, any kind of memorabilia associated with him, especially his racket, would be a super collectible item and be able to bring in a ton of money when it comes up for sale. Number four on the list is another one of one racket. This time it's the one used by Serena and Williams. This one also has huge historical significance when it comes to sports memorabilia and exciting sports moments. So this is the smashed racket from from the infamous 2018 women's final when Serena had the Serena meltdown against Naomi Osaka and it can be argued that that smashed racket itself cost Serena that major title. So of course this racket is iconic not only in tennis but across the entire sporting world because that was one of the top sporting stories if not the top sporting story of 2018. So of course when this racket went up for sale there was a ton of bidders on it and it actually managed to sell for $20,000. Now, of course, that was in 2018. Like I said earlier, collectibles have absolutely skyrocketed in price. So I believe that this racket, given how iconic it is and the fact that it's a one of one and it's instantly recognizable, I definitely think that this racket could get probably double what it did back then. So if this racket went up for sale again, no doubt it can get probably around $40,000 for this racket. All right, guys, now we are in the top three most expensive rackets. This next one I actually featured in one of my previous videos about top tennis gifts to get for people as kind of a bit of a joke but I'm gonna include it on this list because it is extremely expensive. And coming in at number three is a special edition Wilson Pro Staff RF97 that was released in commemoration of Roger Federer's eighth Wimbledon title in 2017. Now this racket is a gorgeous all white version of the Wilson RF97. This, this was released in honor of Roger Federer breaking the all time Wimbledon record, having eight Wimbledon titles, and eight of these rackets were produced. Of course, they were instantly snatched up for a huge price. And the one that I'm actually quoting for in this video was listed on eBay for 250,000 US dollars. Now, I'm not sure if this racket sold or not, but it was delisted from eBay. So as of right now, there are none available. So of course, this racket is hugely collectible. Not only is it a special edition from Wilson with only eight being made, 
but these are also each personally signed by Roger Federer. And of course, you guys know Roger Federer is arguably the most popular athlete in all of tennis, if not one of the most popular athletes across all sports. Now that he's retired, anything associated with him, any kind of sports memorabilia associated with him is extremely valuable. And so of course, this being such a limited edition run and so iconic to the history of Roger Federer, these rackets are extremely collectible and extremely expensive. Finally, we are moving into our top two. And coming in in second place is a historically iconic racket, which is one used by Billie Jean King in The Battle of the Sexes. Now, there was even a whole movie made about this starring Emma Stone and Steve Carell, just to show you guys how significant of a moment this was in sporting history. If you guys don't know, The Battle of the Sexes was when Billie Jean King actually went up against Bobby Riggs in order to prove that female tennis players can compete with the men. And she actually was able to defeat Bobby Riggs and win the battle of the sexes match which made a huge step forward for feminism as well as a huge step forward for women in sports and a huge step forward as well for gender equality so not only was this a huge sporting moment but this was just a huge historical moment overall so of course any kind of sports memorabilia associated with that moment especially the racket that Billie Jean King used to actually win the battle of the sexes that is going to be a supremely collectible item that is going to sell for a lot of money as a matter of fact this racket did sell at an auction for 125 <coughs> thousand dollars and of course if this racket were to go on sale again today it would probably be worth well over that amount and as we move forward in history i believe that this racket is going to continue to gain in value more so than any other racket on this list including even the number one which you guys are going to hear in a second just based on how important this is to history. Now, you guys are probably gonna think I'm crazy, but I think at $125,000, this racket was actually probably a bargain. And in 10 years or 20 years, I'm sure this racket is probably gonna be worth even more. All right, guys, finally, the moment you've been waiting for is the number one most expensive tennis racket in the entire world, and that is the Proximus Diamond Games Trophy Racket. Now, what on earth is a trophy racket? Well, back in 2002, there was a WTA event held in Belgium. This event was actually sponsored by a jewelry and diamond company. So in order to show off their craftsmanship, they created a special trophy for this event, which was a solid gold tennis racket encrusted all over with diamonds. So this racket right here is worth $1.3 million. Yes, you heard me correctly, $1.3 million. So this racket, like I said, solid gold, diamonds all over. In fact, there were 1,700 individual diamonds on this racket. Now you couldn't just win the tournament to get this racket, that would be too easy. So instead, the tournament organizer said that any person that can win the tournament three times within five years would win this ultimate prize of this golden diamond encrusted trophy racket. Now this seems like an impossible task, but there actually was one player who was able to do this before the tournament ended in 2009. Now the player that did this was actually a French WTA player. The player that did this was Amélie Meresmo. She was able to actually accomplish this in 2008 and won this prize. The tournament, of course, since the prize was won, they had to create a new one. So the new one that they created in 2008 was actually not won by any player and actually had more diamonds on it. So the first one had 1,700 individual diamonds. And since this new one was created in 2008, they actually included 2,008 diamonds in the new one. So the new one that's out there that's actually never been won by anyone is worth even more than $1.3 million. I wasn't able to find any information about the second Diamond Games trophy, except that it exists and the number of diamonds that were on it. So if you guys know anything else about this racket that's out there somewhere in the world, please let us know in the comments below. Also a few little fun facts about this tournament and this prize. Venus Williams actually almost won this prize as well. She won this event two years in a row, but then decided not to play the event in the coming years. I believe it was either due to injuries or scheduling issues, I'm not sure. But she did win this two times, but unfortunately was not able to win it the third time within a five year span. Another extra fun fact is that in 2009, they stopped hosting this tournament in Belgium. And instead, this tournament was replaced by another tournament, which is now in St. Petersburg. And with that said, that concludes our list of the top eight most expensive tennis rackets in the entire world. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you haven't subscribed to this channel what are you waiting for and make sure you guys smash the thumbs up hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of the future uploads in the next video i'm going to be revealing what are the real rackets used by the top 10 tennis players in the world and uncover what truly lies beneath the paint job that you guys see on tv every day so make sure you guys hit that notification bell so you don't miss that upcoming video
As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace out and keep swinging.